underground leak detection here in Beverly Hills. Let's go ahead and give you some tips. So look at if you're getting a notice from the Beverly Hills Department of Water and Power and your water bill is through the roof and you're on a big, big property, as you can see right here, we're probably on almost two acres. So there's a massive amount of underground infrastructure here. How do you go about finding these leaks? Well, the first thing I'm gonna offer to you is get your gardener to just walk the property and make sure their heads are not leaking. If they are, more than likely, you can trace that back to a sprinkler valve. Um, once you've determined and verified that the sprinkler heads are not leaking, the next step is check that swimming pool fill valve. A lot of times that is just running constantly, increasing your water bill. Once you yeah, verify the swimming pool, the landscaping, then obviously it's the house. And if you have a separate shutoff valve, go ahead and run some tests to determine if the meter is stopped when you shut the house off. If you determine that the meter does stop when you shut the house off, more than likely it could be a few toilets that are increasing that water bill. Now, if it's not your toilets, uh, landscape, or if it's not your swimming pool, then you're going to have to hire a leak detection expert. Now, in this particular situation, there's been several plumbers and leak detection experts that have arrived at this property, and it's been a needle in a haystack. Everybody's walked away. Um, and the reason why is because it's a complicated leak. There is a underground leak somewhere on this hillside. The piping is made of PVC pipe. So a lot of experts have come and they're leaving just because the equipment nowadays in the leak detection world cannot pinpoint a underground leak unless you can trace out all the pipes. So what it's gonna take on a complicated underground leak uh, detection is plumbing skill as well as leak detection equipment combined. And that's what uh, the Twin Home Experts is uh, really, really good at. Because we come from the plumbing world, we understand the infrastructure on plumbing and how to cut pipes and where to put valves and how to test things along with all the state-of-the-art equipment. So what I'd like to offer you is just kind of the journey on what we discover on this high water bill situation here. So come on for the ride. All right, folks, so uh, right here, this is the infrastructure, the main shut off to the house as well as a fire sprinkler system you can see that there's a valve here and a valve here what you want to do is use these valves to your advantage it really does a great job with isolating the different water systems of the home so in other words uh, in order to determine if it's the house what we're going to what we've done is we've shut this off that's in the off position there leaving this on now go to the meter if the meter continues to run at the same velocity then we know it's not the house um, once you shut this off leave it off now go to the fire sprinkler system obviously that comes this way up so this is now in the off position so once you shut this off, go back to the meter and actually determine if the meter is still running. In this particular situation, even though we have the house off and we have the fire sprinkler off, the meter is still spinning. So what does that tell us? Well, it's something out here. So that's where we're gonna focus next. All right, folks, so this is awesome technology. It's basically a stethoscope like you get when you go to a doctor's appointment, but this is for specifically for leak detection. So what we've done here is we've hooked this up and we put it to this pipe right here and it is screaming, meaning there's a lot of running water running through this. So we know for sure that this area right here is definitely the issue. The question becomes, how do you pinpoint it after you've identified that it is this section of the, of the plumbing? So now that we've identified that this is, I'm gonna show you now a a safe gas technique that we use to help pinpoint the underground leak. 
All right, folks, so now that we've determined that it's that one inch uh, sprinkler line, what we've determined is uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove that underground valve. We're gonna hook up our nitrogen, our safe gas, and pump into that PVC pipe. What does that do? It creates a lot of bubbling, a lot of noise for us to be able to pinpoint where that leak is with our acoustic equipment. All right, folks, so from the nitrogen tank, these are our hoses here that we adapt directly to the line. As you can see here, we've connected it to the PVC pipe. So again, with these hoses, it allows us to inject the safe gas right into the pipe here. So more than likely, this is the pipe that's leaking. So now that we've pumped this up, let's go around with our acoustic equipment and identify where that leak is. All right, folks, um, one piece of equipment that we really like uh, using here at the Twin Home Experts is actually a, a sewer camera. And what we're doing here is we've cut the uh, PVC pipe right there. That there is the suspect line that's leaking. So we've cut that. Now what we're going to do is instead of excavating all of this and assuming where that pipe goes to, we're going to utilize our sewer camera and insert it in the high pressure sprinkler line like that. Okay. And as you can see here in the camera lens, we're able to identify, uh, pull back just a little bit. Okay, go forward now, slow, slow. And right there, folks, is a T-fitting. So we're gonna leave the camera right there. And what we'll do is we'll use our locating equipment and locate exactly where this T is. And what that is, will help us do is we'll just excavate this particular area to install a proper isolation valve. So uh, again, a great tip is a sewer camera to insert into the pipe. So you can actually find out where those underground PVC. Right, folks, so we've ran the camera and what we've determined is it's this side of the property. Um, with the camera, it's also uh, was able to help us determine where the underground water system runs. So what we've done is we've located an area right here. And as you can see, we've installed a hose bib. The reason why this is important is it now gives us access to pump our safe gas into this, recharging this section over here. So let's go ahead now and we'll pump our nitrogen in here and then we'll trace out where this leak is. All right, folks, so that hose bib was super important because, and too bad I didn't capture it on video, but basically when we pump the safe gas into the underground system, we used our sniffing device, which pinpointed where that safe gas was coming up out of the ground. It was right here. Take a look at what we found. All right, folks, well, hopefully this helped give you the insight of the process of how we find an underground uh, break in your water pipe, as well as tracking down what's causing that high water bill here in Beverly Hills. Now, you're probably wondering, what does leak detection cost here in Beverly Hills? Well, it all depends. You know, we've done them as low as about $300 and as high as about $9,000. But it all depends on how much excavation, how much pipe we're cutting, how many valves we're installing, and the cost of the repair. Okay, folks, well, hopefully this helped. As always, thanks for watching, and make sure you give us thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. <laughs>